So today I booted up VS Code only to find myself an error message here saying this extension requires NeoVim 0.8 or higher. So the thing is, I tried um, installing NeoVim again, updating it, but still it was on 0.7. So it turns out I needed to do some ridiculous stuff to try to install the new version, which is pretty simple, but not obvious. So first of all, you have to remove NeoVim because trying to update it through your package manager won't work. I personally use Ubuntu on Windows through WSL. So if that's not your situation, this video might be useful to you, but not exactly like I do things here. So first of all, we remove NeoVim, and now if we typed in NeoVim, we wouldn't have it, right? Yeah, that's what we need to do first. Then we go to this page of releases of NeoVim. I'll leave a link to this in the description. Uh, scroll down, you may install the 0.9, but it's a pre-release, so I decided to just stick with 0.8, which is what the extension requires anyway. And by the way, in case, uh, I don't know, basically I haven't mentioned this, but we're making this extension work again. VS Code New of M. Coming back, what we need here is uh, Linux Tarball. Once again, if you're just installing a new of M on Windows, then it's probably easier here. Uh, to do everything, but I'm using Linux on Windows. So first of all, we install NeoVim Linux 64 tar gz. So this. Install it to a path, which is not going to be too annoying to type in. Okay. Uh, we're currently here, and we now have it. Let's move it to a place where it will make sense later. So move already done that and now we will go to that path we have that tar thing a zip file essentially but with a different extension now we extract it with this command that's a lot of stuff uh, and now we can remove for real the actual tar because we extracted it already. We have this, and now we create a symbolic link. Um, yeah, I already did this as well. Great. Do not delete th this though, because we still need it. The reason why we create a symbolic link is because this um, folder is actually in the path. If we, if we echo path, then we get a lot of stuff, but one of the first ones is your home then dot local bin and we're making a symbolic link so when we type new of him we actually get new of him and here we go we updated successfully let's try to check the version it should work and yeah indeed 0.8 now we go to vs code to our settings type in new of him and we have to specify our path to the new one so the tilde dot local bin neovim you reload vs code and then you don't get that error message anymore and you successfully updated your neovim so if this was helpful to you leave a like press <laughs> press a comment sure press a comment type a like <laughs> but definitely subscribe so don't you miss my videos yeah i'm completely a wreck so stay fresh cheese bags and i'll see you in the next video bye bye